And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Bannerman Zed. That's right, we're playing an old classic a deck that uh, was really popular um, months and months and months ago before Bilgewater was released. This was one of the most popular decks was Lucian Zed in Demacia Aggro with uh, Vanguard Bannerman. We're going to be trying it again. It's been a long time since we've played a deck like that. Right now we have six... Um, Six Ionia cards, we have Zed, and then two Nopifies, one Deny. So we have a, a few ways to be able to stop some spells. We have a good amount of spells in here in general. We've got a couple of Rangers Resolve, some Relentless Pursuits, so we can rally and attack some more. Because both Lucian and Zed love attacking, especially Zed. Zed loves to attack, so Relentless Pursuit uh, works out really well there. Um... But yeah, we're just going to be curving out with our Demacia things, have our Vanguard Bannerman to grow them and attack. Pretty straightforward. Nothing really too fancy here. Um, we're just going to get our attacks in. Going with the Grizzled Ranger also, you know, with the Scout that can attack multiple times. Uh, yeah, that's our deck. All right, so let's go play five games. We're going to go play five games in ranked. We got all donation decks today. All good donation decks. All pretty... Um, Fairly aggressive. You know, we're going to be doing a lot of attacking today. Okay, this is a deck that plays a ton of defense, so maybe not the best matchup for us. Let's mulligan the second tracker. I like the repost though, because if they're going to be blocking, repost helps us kind of get through blockers. Um, I don't, I don't mind having two, two Fleet Feather Trackers, it's perfectly fine, but I wanted to kind of ha have some more options of finding our champions. Okay, so it looks like we're going to go Bright Steel Protector on three. My shield is yours. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. I guess I trade here before they, cause who knows? I mean, I don't know. I, mean, I, I guess I do. It's like either trade or just kind of sit back. Yeah. First light illuminates the land. Glorious light rains down. All right, go get him, Grizzled Ranger. Here we go. Ever vigilant. I'm glad they didn't use that hush right away. Yep, time for another whooping. Or the <coughs> well, I guess they did use that hush right away. So we do 13 damage to them. Ah, uh, never mind. They got another blocker. They will not escape punishment. My gun does the talking. I don't want them to block Grizzled Ranger. I guess they can block the 3-2. But I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't even be trading the 3-2 away. Because they're probably not blocking the Senate anyway, so it... Kind of just let them get that free trade in. Yeah, maybe shouldn't have play, shouldn't attack with that three two. Okay, uh, do I? Hmm, this is a tough turn. I think I scout attack. I may play another Grizzled Ranger. Scout attack with both. But if I play this other Grizzled Ranger, they play like Leona or the five mana five five. I guess it's still good to be able to scout attack with both of those and then play the other Senna. Yeah. Slow down, will you? No. Beneath me. Ugh. 
this, this turn didn't go particularly well. Sentinels of light don't fear the dark. Missed a chance to run. Witness divinity. Don't leave. Down to nine. So that's pretty awesome. Do not fear the shrouded path. And I got deny for protection. Hopefully that's something I can deny. I hope it's like the nine mana exile two things. Alright, so if I attack out. They blocked my 3-1 go down to... We're gonna just do this right away to turn the Z into a 6-5 and this thing into a 6-5. Wait, wait. There we go. Perfect. No, 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 no. I'm not very good at emotes, but that was a good one. Escape their shadow. Playing against Shenafiora. So mirror match with the regions. They're one that goes bigger. I'm going to mulligan all of these and try to curve out with this Bannerman more. So usually in, in mirror matches, this is something that I, I said a bunch, but usually in, in mirror matches, especially like mid-rangey mirror matches, the deck that goes bigger is the one that's going to have more success. And they're the one that goes bigger. They have a lot more challengers. So I expect us to be underdogs in this matchup. I could see them challenging and killing the Lucian this turn, going Flea Feather Tracker and another one drop. Okay, no, it's Bright Steel Protector. They could definitely play something. We just can't tell what they could play. You wonder if they're going to do something to Shen Fiora in the next patch? I could see it. So I'm thinking single combat. If they have the two mana pump spell, they just pump and kill the Lucian. Maybe it is just this. But like, so if they have single combat, they get to kill my Lucian for free. It is single combat. But you know, like if they didn't, if they didn't have either, it'd be good to do that and then play Bannerman afterwards. All right, so I got to do that first. I wanted to play Lucian this turn and then do the Bannerman next turn, but we got to do this first because of uh, Fiora challenging the two power. I'm actually here. There's a kill in the air. Um, charge. Show them our metal. Protect and strike. I'll stop you. I'm expecting repost on the Fiora. I'm not exactly sure. Yes, you say Shen Fiora after Gohard nerf will have very few bad matchups, technically. Well, so the the fast the faster decks. I mean, honestly, like after the a Gohard nerf probably hurts Shen Fiora. That'd be my expectation. Is that because? Go hard is really holding back aggro decks. It's really hard to out aggro 
go hard with that one mana drain and their ability just to put out tons and tons of units right away and and uh, everything like and then twisted fate with like red card and gold card it's really hard to out aggro go hard go hard's holding back aggro small you know smaller unit aggro and the like that's the kind of deck that beats shen fiora is like the fast aggro while they're you know waiting till like turn three to play stuff and you know spending four mana on all their spells you know, like four mana for each spell this will be quick. that's what that's going to struggle against so with that being said a go hard nerf may help put decks that beat shen fiora into the metagame All right, so they had um, two single combat so far. Two worlds, one balance. I obviously hate seeing that because, yeah, that's the worst possible. Um, Show them what we're made of. I sense an imbalance. Try me. If they just also have repost, then you know we lose. Okay, My it's not as bad as repost. I have no equal. Okay, I want to try this. I just kind of want to see what they do first, because, like, you know, they, they obviously have spells. Okay, so that Fiora got to three. Shen has seen two barriers. Man, Relentless Pursuit is just the worst possible card to draw. It just doesn't do anything. That's how I kind of always feel with Rel Relentless Pursuit. It's always the worst possible card to draw. I find them unworthy. And always doesn't do anything. Honor, guide me. They are under my protection. I thought this was going to be a really bad matchup for us. That's too bad. Alright, let's miss some folks up. Is Relentless Pursuit a win more card? Um, you, you could say that. It it's only good if you're winning, or and or ahead ahead on the battlefield, right? If you're if you're behind on the battlefield, it's completely useless. So it's it rewards you for being ahead on the battlefield. Ooh, need to start the prediction. Will I win this game? It can really help or like against a deck like uh, Feel the Rush Ramp. Like the Ramp decks, you want as many attacks as you can. Decks where it's all about like board presence. Like Fiora Shen is all about board presence. So this matchup, it's useless basically, unless you know, like unless you're like already like really ahead, and then you can use it as like a finishing spell. But like it, it doesn't really help this matchup. That's really that's really unfortunate. We're playing Fiora Shen again. I I I can't really imagine a worse matchup for this deck than Fiora Shen. Oh, 
Sentinels of light don't fear the dark. All right, good sign of draw. Water changes, but never breaks. What form will the waters hmm. take? I'll take that trade. I know I could have used Sharp Sight, but I think that's a fine trade. They would fall by my blade. This is bad. You're covered. All right, so think about what they want to do. My steel is yours. Missed your chance to run. I don't have deny for a judgment. Your move. They did have the card repost. Alright, well we killed Fiora. Do I want to turn Relentless Pursuit into a deal 7 to them? I think so. I think that's about as good as Relentless Pursuit can do. You know, turn it into a big decimate. These woods protect their own. Okay, so they would rather take 4 than have their Green Blade Caretaker die. Annoying. All right, let's mess some folks up. Soldier to me. So my plan is to, you know, attack with these, have both the Bright Seal Protect, you know, basically have all three of these things be lethal attackers. My shield is yours. Nature blesses her followers. <laughs> Man, this is a really, really bad matchup for us. Because <laughs> we're all about attacking, and they're all about board control. Our things are smaller. My steel is yours. I mean, I guess I attack. Well, I guess, I mean, I shouldn't, maybe I shouldn't complain about Ranger's Resolve. For one mana, it, it helped save that right there. Come on. Stop this. So I go. Uh, Shen plus Challengers is so good. So good. Okay, that's our one Nopify target. I'm glad they had a single combat, so we had a one Nopify target. Mm. But now I'm not glad they had it because all my stuff's dead. We meet again, old friend. We're not the men we once were. I'm what nightmares fear. Under my protection. GG's.
Our work is not yet done. Yeah, I, I can't imagine a worse matchup for us than that. Okay, at least we're not facing that same thing. We're again facing a very defensive deck, though. We've only played... Like, all four games, we've played against four decks that love blocking and, and are really good in combat. Um, we got to win on the first one with a strong hand. For us, like, ideally, we want to play against, like, a ramp deck. That's, like, where Rally can really help and our, our ability to attack and go wide and have, like, Rangers resolve against Avalanche. Love to play against those kind of decks. Cool, we got... Uh, Repost to go along with Zed. New recruit reporting in. Okay, got a good curve. Do my best. Don't see that card too often. Wasn't really expecting that. That uh, slows them down, you know, spending two mana to not do anything. But now they're just sitting here with the one mana. It's either they have the one mana 1-1 one, one that you discard a card and invoke something that costs three or less. Or maybe this was the zero mana 2-1 challenger. So by playing Lucian, they just kill Lucian immediately. Push However, you look at our, our hand, it's it's not like I can't play Lucian. See, you know, if they had that. It's, it's not like I don't play Lucian because of like what's it what's in our hand. Like I still play Lucian. But yeah, I was uh, expecting that's what they had. But it's still my it's still my best play to play the Lucian. So they had a two mana removal spell for my Lucian. Bas basically, they had Mystic Shot. So Pill Cascade doesn't allow them to block Zed. Yeah, they get to block over there. Cloaked in silver light. All right, so now we have leveled up Zed, and even if they kill this Zed, we got backup Zed in hand. But I also have Repost. Repost is pretty good with leveled up Zed. We chart our path by the stars. I missed the allegiance. I'm guessing missing allegiance means. Um, I'm guessing that means the, for the so, so like their Shadow Isles card is probably Unspeakable Horror. There we go. That's the card I was thinking of. So it's probably Unspeakable Horror, which would kill Fleet Feather Tracker. Oh, this is tough. Go to attacks and repost or play Lucian first. If I Lucian, then they can Unspeakable Horror and kill the Tracker before it challenges. Not let's just do this because if i if i replace the zed and then they you know block zed they they take 11 not 12 so that they don't die okay that is star shaping that also means they don't die Cool, I like that. See, this is where Rel Relentless Pursuit would be amazing whenever you're really ahead on board. The dawn has arrived. Behold the sun's holy light. Yeah, yeah. So I guess you could kind of say it's like a win more card, right? It's a game, like this is a game that we are most likely going to win. And so that's whenever Relentless Pursuit looks its best. And yep, they did have Unspeakable Horror, as expected. So 
There's nothing that's... There's no reason not to play Bannermen. No, they wouldn't have... They wouldn't have the 6 mana invoke card. They couldn't have that. They could only have 7 plus mana invoke cards. Soldiers, to me. They, yeah, they could Vengeance Zed, but I just play a new Zed. So it's not like that matters. So could have gone repost and gotten the plus four here, then we get an additional plus or plus three here, get additional plus three here, but yeah, it looks like it wouldn't matter because they would have just uh, done that. They would have blocked there anyway. Alright, so we have 10, 17, so we have 17 damage coming in. Ever vigilant. 16 damage coming in. I will protect 17. You monster! Jeez, got the win. So we look great against non Shen Fiora. Alright, looks like we're going to have an aggro race here, playing against some Noxus PNZ, playing against some Burn. Cythria is a little slow for aggro race. I think I do want Relentless Pursuit in this matchup, because they shouldn't be killing my things, and then that extra attack would be really important. Unfortunately, don't have the one drop to really curve out well. Got your back. And got lots of three drops, but hopefully Zed at Relentless Pursuit does some work. Party has arrived. arrived. Probably lose the vision. They... They did have a good hand. This would have been... We really need Fleet Feather Tracker, right? Like, Fleet Feather Tracker would have been able to get an attack in for free. Wow, they do have vision. Alright, so we've probably lost. Because they're going to have... They have Draven this next turn. If they have any kind of removal for the Zed. Probably over. Gosh, a house spider. That's such a great blocker. They just had a great, great hand. I don't think it's always going to be... I don't think this matchup's always going to be this lopsided, but... Um, I don't know if their hand gets any better, does it? You know, turn one, Zonite Urchin, plus discard a Jury Rig. Uh, you know, turn two, another Zonite Urchin, plus... Or, like, you know, the, the, the Draven's biggest fan to go find Draven, plus another Zonite Urchin, uh, plus discarding Vision to pump up all four of their things. And then, you know, turn three Draven, turn four House Spider with two of these things. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if it gets better than that for the turn four. Like, how much power is that by turn four? Our work is not yet done. That 
20 power or so already in play by turn 4. Something like that. Okay, so we ended up going 2 and 3. Really, we went kind of went 2 and 1 besides the, the Shen Fiora matchup. The Shen Fiora matchup is going to be you know, pretty close to unwinnable. That's going to be a really, really difficult. And went 2 and 1 in the other ones. We had, you know, that opponent that had the perfect discard burn hand. Like, I don't... I don't know if anybody really beats like that discard burn hand. Like you have to have like, old, like avalanche specifically to stay alive. But even even then, that would have been pretty difficult for even just like an avalanche to be able to deal with that. Um, that wasn't uh, that wasn't a, a very easy hand to defeat with really any deck. You know, throw out at any deck. All right, so uh, let's see. Wasn't really impressed with R Relentless Pursuit. Wasn't really impressed with Ranger's Resolve. Um, kind of felt like our deck was missing, like, old War Chefs, right? That's that's the card that our deck was missing. We need two, three War Chefs. Get us another good two drop in here. But unfortunately, that's not a card anymore. Uh, but we didn't really play like the matchups for you know relentless pursuit, perfect against the Freljord decks, your ramp decks, Rangers Resolve, good against your Gohard decks. Um, yeah. All right, but there we go, Bannerman Zed, first donation deck of the day. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and of course leave those comments. Always love seeing those. But thank you so much for watching some Bannerman Zed, and I will see you for the next video.